Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a review and first impression experience of the brand Loving Tan. Now I have never ever self tanned at home. I've done spray tans like at professional salons, but I've never done it myself. Um, and I definitely made some mistakes along the way, but I definitely learned a lot as well. So I'll be sharing some of those tips and tricks with you in this video and also telling you which products they sent me that I would 100% recommend to you and which products I think maybe you could skip out on. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. If you have not subscribed, then please be sure to go ahead and do so and also give this video a big thumbs up. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so first I started off by exfoliating, of course, with the Aveda Rosemary Mint Body Polish. I love this stuff so much. It's just minty and tingly, and just has a very fresh, invigorating sensation to it. And yeah, I just really, really love it. So I exfoliated um, just all over my legs, really got in there, and I found that in the end, the tanner applied so beautifully to my legs because I really, really focused the most on them and really exfoliated the heck out of them. Next, I exfoliated with a Loving Tan Mitt, and I really was pleasantly surprised by this mitt. I've never used an exfoliating glove before, but it worked so well, and I just... I was honestly shocked. Like, I didn't really have any expectations going into it. I don't think that you necessarily need this one, but this is a great one. Um, and look at all this dead skin and, like, ew, it's so nasty. I'm sorry. Next, I decided to shave my legs with a body wash from the Body Shop. It's in the scent Virgin Mojito. And I love anything that's, like, citrusy or lime. So, yeah, I just sudsed up and then shaved away. <laughs> Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the color that my body was at at the beginning stage. Um, I had gone on a cruise two weeks prior, so I was tanner than I usually am, but obviously still pale in general. So I took some St. Ives lotion and I put this on my hands, in between my fingers, on my elbows, basically anywhere where your skin's a little bit drier. And apparently I did some research and tanning uh, lotion will stick to those areas and become a little bit oranger. So I just focused on my knees, on my heels, all of those places so that we would have no orange hands. <laughs> Okay, so right here, I'm doing it. I'm going for it, going bigger, going home. As soon as I squirted that stuff out, I got real scared because it looked so dark, and I put it on, and I was like, oh, my gosh, it is so brown. But I just went for it. So I used their applicator mitt, and I was – pleasantly surprised by the mitt. I feel like this stuff dries really, really quickly, uh, which is great, but it can also be difficult. So I think if I would have used my hands only, it just would have been near impossible to get it done in time. Um, but I feel like the mitt definitely expediated the process, which helped me to blend it in before everything was locked down. Loving Tan sent me their two hour express mousse in the color dark. And I would definitely say like, just go for the dark. Like it's, it ended up so beautiful. You'll see, like, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Um, and I definitely found that the mousse applied easier to my legs and arms because those are the areas that I exfoliated. I didn't even think to exfoliate my stomach or chest or areas like that. Um, and those areas were the most, like, splotchy, in my opinion. So I definitely think the absolute key to a just seamless and beautiful tan is exfoliating every square inch of your body. Can you feel me? I was checking this girl next door when her parents went out. She phoned, say, hey, boy, come on right around. So I knocked at the door. You were standing with a bottle of red wine. Where did the pot? Just in a long black satin. Let's to the floor. So I went in and we sent the first time to sing and we sang to me about you cause he sounded interesting So we jumped right in so at this point, it was time for me to do my back, and <laughs> I tried so hard, guys, but you can just see it's not its not working for me. I tried using their back applicator um, tool, but I, 
I don't know if I was bad at it, but it just didn't work for me. I feel like the sponge soaked up all the product and I quickly switched over to the mitt because it was drying and it was just about to be a big old mess. So I would definitely suggest using the mitt instead of purchasing the back item. So right here is what everything looked like before I jumped in the shower. Um, definitely tanner, but a little bit muddy. So right here, I have actually already showered, and now I am applying the mousse. Um, this stuff shocked me. It was just like so intense and shiny and glamorous and fabulous, and I just want to I just want to eat it. I just love this stuff. It really enhanced the tan just like magically. And at first, I thought this was going to be such a like just – overrated product but it, it seriously brought the tan to life and I would I mean I would genuinely recommend it to you guys like I was so impressed look at the difference <laughs> so on the left you can see there's a little bit more dimension and shine and on the right it's a little more plain and then right here we've just got the final the final hoorah and I just I loved it like I just felt like a goddess like I'm obsessed <laughs> All right guys, so to conclude, I'm just gonna run through each item really quick and tell you if you need it for sure or if you do not. So I think that hands down, you definitely want to apply your self tanner with an applicator mitt. If you use the code India Batson with purchase um, of any of Loving Tan's mitts, you will get a free applicator mitt. I don't make any money off that. Um, that's just something that you guys can use. So yeah, I definitely think this just makes it so much quicker and easier and and it's really soft. Next, we have the easy to reach a back applicator. I do not think you need this. I did not like this tool. I didn't think it was helpful. Totally do not get this. Next, I have the skin polishing glove. I definitely think that it was a really good product. It worked really well and I definitely enjoyed it. So, I mean, no complaints. Now, in terms of our tanner, Hands down, fantastic. I'm so, so in love with it. I definitely think I would have used a little bit more um, than I did. I feel like I got really nervous because it just looked so, so dark, but it turned out so beautifully in the end. Um, and I'm really happy. I feel like it's just like such a nice, pretty, like beachy glow. Um, but yeah, I definitely think the two hour express is fantastic because I'm super impatient and it's two hours, so it's great. And um, I would definitely recommend the color dark. Like, just go for it. Don't get the medium. Uh, just, just go big. Go, go big or go home. Last but not least, we have our bronze shimmer luminous cream in the color dark. <sighs> you guys, I was like, oh my gosh, this seems like such a like extra, like not needed product, but it seriously just like brought the tan to life, and it just gave it like dimension and made it so glowy. Like, oh my. Gosh, this product is bomb. Like, holy smokes. I cannot wait to take a really cute Instagram picture and just cover my body in this. That is everything. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. I'll be doing a hair video next, of course. Uh, I was thinking about doing a hair hacks video, but then I also thought about doing like some cute, like sporty ponytails, like It'll be cute, trust me. So just let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks guys, love you.